Figure AI's new Figure 03, a 5 foot 8 inch, meaning about 172 centimeter, electric humanoid designed for home use. This chap is capable of carrying about 20 kilograms and running solely on battery power for a whopping five hours. Unlike other robots that are more focused on aesthetic maneuvers, Figure 03 is explicitly marketed for domestic chores like laundry, cleaning, and doing dishes, all autonomously. And if that's not enough, well, it's made to even interact naturally with people. The company advertises that you can talk, ask, or delegate. Figure understands and takes action, all thanks to its onboard specifications. With billions invested in robotics and consumer AI, the arrival of such a human-like helper is both thrilling and unnerving. But it begs the question, are we making life easier? or building physically superior helpers that might someday replace us. We'll look into that later, but for now, let's look at Figure 03. Figure 03 doesn't just look the part. Its agile new design and inbuilt AI give it remarkably human-like behaviors. Early demos show that it navigates real homes, including tricky obstacles like stairs and even tight corners with ease. People's responses to the demo videos are what have caught my attention, though, with many pointing out we've come so far when it comes to tech. One user said, man, this era is the craziest time to be alive. Others commented on his abilities, pointing out the poorly done folding job, saying, why is my shirt all wrinkly? Watches figure 03 fold my clothes. Oh. Some went as far as to say that it wasn't built for everyday houses with their extreme clutter. Rather, it was built for test houses, like the one in the demo. How to use Figure 03. Step 1. Have an already immaculately clean house free of obstacles. This friendly little helper even loads dishwashers and clears tabletops under voice command. But as one commenter quipped on Reddit, the clothes folding starts at about 4.50. Yeah, it's bad. Overall, I think it's lots of progress, but still far from a viable chores made. Though that's not to say every comment was negative. Others were more optimistic and pointed out the possibilities, while still highlighting the difficulty of this being feasible currently. One comment read, This is what will get me to get a robot in my life. Doing, folding, and putting away laundry. Figures CEO Brett Adcock envisions a future where every household has a humanoid doing daily tasks, but admits Figure 03 isn't fully there yet. Still, with each new generation, the company has packed on more capability. Figure's leapfrogging process has been lightning fast. Only two years ago, in May 2023, their first prototype, Figure 01, timidly took its first steps, a proof-of-concept clunker that needed a human pilot and an external power pack. By early 2024, Figure 02 was out, a leaner version ready for real-world deployment. Figure 02 improved hand dexterity and built the battery into its torso, and it even started working factory shifts. Multiple Figure 02 robots were lifting parts on BMW's assembly line for 10-hour days. As a BMW spokesperson explained on the line, the robot picks up parts and places them onto fixtures during live production. Figure even signed BMW as its first customer in 2024. In parallel, the robotics race has heated up. Figure CEO sums up the challenge. In the next 10 years, maybe under 10 years, the biggest company in the world will be a humanoid robot company. Every home will have a humanoid, he told Time. But they have some big competitors to worry about, including a major one like Tesla's Optimus, where even Musk says that Tesla wants genuinely useful humanoids by 2025 and high production by 2026. Other startups like Chinese Unitree and Boston Dynamics have also emerged, whose Atlas line focuses more on search and rescue in the industry. But Figure has bet its future on home use. They even say, after meaningful progress in the workforce, Figure is now moving into the home. This focus shows that Figure 03 is explicitly engineered for real homes, with a softer, less intimidating look, ready to climb stairs and navigate messy living rooms. So what is different so far in comparison to its older models? Compared to FO2, the new Figure 03 is noticeably more human-like. Its joints are smaller and stronger, its frame is approximately 90% cheaper to produce, and its body is lighter to make it a lot less intimidating. In fact, 
Designers deliberately made it slimmer, yet it can carry a 20 kilogram payload, enough for groceries or laundry baskets. To add, it can move at up to 1.2 meters per second, which is a normal human walking pace. Since it is all electric, it runs quietly and efficiently compared to noisy hydraulics. The robot's hardware also got an upgrade. Its hands are slimmer, with tactile pads, and even cameras in the palms for fine manipulation. Boston Dynamics' Atlas famously switched to electric actuators last year, and Figure 03 similarly emphasizes fluid, human-like motion. In tests, F03 instinctively leans forward slightly when running and tucks its torso when slowing down, just like a person would. Its built-in sensors, multiple depth cameras, and inertial units like the nervous system clone robotics described help it stay balanced. A commenter pointed out their awe for this by saying, the most important thing I read was that they have built it so it can't easily fall down. I pretty much gave up owning a robot for now after seeing so many videos of robots falling down because I worry they may squish my cats. But it sounds like it is near impossible for the figure robot to fall. Figure 03 comes equipped with a range of impressive features that make it one of the most advanced humanoid robots to date. Its conversational AI allows users to interact with it naturally, speaking to it as they would to another person. Powered by a vision language model under the hood, it can understand spoken commands and translate them into precise actions. The robot's dexterous hands feature integrated touch sensors and cameras, enabling it to perform delicate chores such as folding laundry, loading dishwashers, and clearing tables. In one demonstration, it successfully loaded a dishwasher and managed laundry tasks, though it famously dropped a shirt twice before succeeding. Its range of motion is another standout aspect, with greater flexibility at the waist, hips, and shoulders than most humans. Figure 03 can execute agile, atlas-style movements, such as twisting mid-leap or rotating its torso smoothly as it stands. Finally, its vision and memory systems rely on multiple depth cameras in the head and torso, along with dozens of embedded joint sensors. This sensory array enables it to see and understand its environment in real time and even recall the location of hidden or previously viewed objects, as shown in demonstrations like the hat and key memory test. Altogether, these upgrades make Figure 03's movements both smoother and eerily human. In Figure's new demo videos, F03 is seen walking, running, even getting on all fours briefly, motions that would have looked uncanny just a year ago. Watching humanoids that crouch and march like us often triggers an uncanny valley reaction. For reference, when Boston Dynamics released a video of Atlas rolling over and springing up, The Verge wrote that its movements, legs folding like a sci-fi horror, were Cronenberg body horror, and the whole thing feels rather jarring. Figure 03's gentler, purposely friendly exterior may avoid outright nightmares, but the line between impressive and eerie is still kind of thin. Figure's secret sauce is its onboard AI, dubbed Helix. Helix is a neural network that fuses vision, language understanding, and motor control into one system. In practice, that means you can literally tell the robot what to do, e.g. put the milk away, and Helix will translate that sentence into joint movements. As the company explains, Helix can handle whole upper body control and pick up virtually any small household object on command. Impressively, this all runs on board the robot's own computer, so it doesn't send every instruction to the cloud. In fact, Helix was engineered for embedded GPUs. Figure notes it's the first such model that runs entirely on low power onboard GPUs, so it's immediately ready for commercial deployment. Behind the scenes, Figure collected a massive data set of tasks by having people film themselves doing chores. In one example, just 80 hours of video of folding towels was enough for Helix to learn how to fold towels itself. Engineers essentially used the same trick that made GPTs famous, scale up neural nets and data. They also heavily leveraged NVIDIA's tools. As NVIDIA's blog explains, Figure used the Omniverse slash Isaac Sim simulator to train models on synthetic household scenes and then put H100 slash GPU hardware on board. In fact, Figure 02's latest upgrade included a second NVIDIA RTX GPU module tripling its inference speed. 
Deepu Tala of NVIDIA notes that humanoids rely on a three-part stack, DGX servers to train the AI, Omniverse for simulating environments, and Jetson Edge GPUs inside the robot for real-time control, and Figure is tapping into all of it. The net result is a robot that not only has impressive hardware, but also cutting-edge software. If Helix works as advertised, Figure 03 could continuously learn new chores from user instructions and small amounts of demonstration. Of course, complex neural control raises concerns. One Reddit expert noted that Helix has a System 1, System 2 architecture, a high-level language model. While not yet proven in a consumer product, early prototypes have crawled on all fours, done handstands, and even backflips in lab tests, which is similar to Atlas's record, indicating Helix's agility. But until Figure 03 is out in the wild, safety remains a big question. Figure's engineers are cagey about their internal safeguards and admit proving absolute safety in a home is a hard problem. Still, it's clear the robot's brain is orders of magnitude more advanced than anything just a few years ago. But Figure 03 isn't supposed to be a one-off creation. It is actually a part of a rapidly evolving humanoid ecosystem. Like Atlas, it has powerful corporate backers and software partners. NVIDIA, for example, is an investor and tech ally. Figure's systems run on NVIDIA GPUs and simulation, and NVIDIA highlighted Figure as an early member of its humanoid robot developer program. Figure also lists partnerships with OpenAI and Microsoft on custom AI models. These collaborations mean big compute resources are behind Helix. On the hardware side, Figure engineers designed FO3's battery and mechanics in-house, so the robot's whole computer platform is proprietary. But some competitors are focusing on open platforms, e.g. Tesla said it will use its own chip and neural net, and Aptronic slash Apollo use Google's Gemini models. The result is humanoids that can share certain capabilities, common AI code, but differ in design. For instance, Aptronics Apollo, a 5 foot 8 inch robot with 55 pound payload, is partnering with Mercedes Benz on factory use. Mercedes is testing Apollo for logistics tasks like delivering assembly kits to human workers. Aptronics CEO Jeff Cardenas puts it simply the big idea is a humanoid robot should be able to fit in all the places that a human can fit into and use all the same tools. In other words, robots like Figure 03 or Apollo should drop into human environments without special retrofitting, a design philosophy shared by BMW's move to put Figure 02s on the X3 line. These efforts aim to relieve labor shortages by automating repetitive and physically demanding tasks, both in factories and someday in homes. However, as with any breakthrough, Figure 03 has elicited mixed reactions. Tech enthusiasts are dazzled by the progress. One Reddit user after a Figure 03 demo said flatly, I'm tired of folding my laundry. Another commented that Figure 03's agility makes the idea of robots doing chores feel much closer than before. But others joked they would make the robot redo the folds. My wife said she would have had that robot refold the clothes, lol. Most people don't necessarily have much hope from the working robots, though, with some saying overpromise, underdeliver. On the other hand, skeptics point out that demos still stumble. Others fret about job loss. On forums, some joked that the robots' rapid progress is an origin story of our apocalypse, or lamented that human workers will be shoved out as robots fit into all the places we do. Though concerns go beyond employment, people often find ultra-human robots creepy, a classic uncanny valley effect that I mentioned above. Comments under figures announcements have been more mundane but are in the same spirit. Others are excited that its moves are smooth while still noting the gaps to clear performance. In fact, the story of Figure 03 is unfolding in a larger robotics awakening. Across labs and startups worldwide, humanoids are stretching beyond novelty toward utility. Just this year, NVIDIA unveiled Isaac Groot N1, the first open foundation model built specifically for humanoid robotics, enabling robots to reason, perceive, and act in ways previously limited to research labs. With shared code and simulation environments, robot makers can now build smarter machines faster, accelerating the pace of what we saw in Figure's demos. 
Meanwhile, the global market is bracing for a seismic shift. Analysts at Morgan Stanley project that by 2050, the humanoid robotics market could top $5 trillion, with as many as one robot per person on Earth. That's not just sci-fi. It's a forecast grounded in supply chains, AI progress, and robotics scale. Figure itself claims it is re-engineered for mass manufacturing, designing components for injection molding and die casting rather than bespoke machining. The goal? Hundreds of thousands of units, shipped over a few years. But every revolution carries friction. Roboticists like UC Berkeley's Ken Goldberg warn of what he calls the 100,000-year data gap, the gap between how much digital text exists, feeding large language models, and how little embodied physical interaction data robots have. In other words, we can train models to talk or write with staggering fluency, but training them to pick up a sock on a cluttered floor? That's a different story. Real-world mess, dynamic lighting, unpredictable pets or toddlers, these are adversaries for any humanoid brain. Another wild arena, competition and politics. South Korea recently formed the K-Humanoid Alliance, a government industry consortium aiming by 2030 to build robots lifting 20 kilograms, moving at 2.5 meters per second with over 50 joints, essentially setting a national robotics benchmark. In China, the inaugural World Humanoid Robot Games took place in August 2025 in Beijing. 280 teams and 500 robots competed in boxing, soccer, cleaning, and sorting. These events aren't just spectacle, they're proving grounds for agility, perception, and reliability under pressure. We can also look at how rivals are evolving. Toyota and Hyundai have teamed up to push more human-like motion into humanoid robotics, combining AI and mobility research. And in the consumer robot world, Unitree's G1 humanoid grabbed headlines not just for its balancing and moving skills, but also for a security controversy. Researchers uncovered vulnerabilities that could allow hacking or remote takeover. That's a sobering reminder that real homes are networked, connected, and vulnerable. What all this means is that Figure 03 may be a milestone, but it's one step on a rapidly morphing landscape. Imagine future versions that can self-repair, autonomously swap components, adapt to new furniture layouts, or collaborate robot to robot in the home. Imagine your humanoid not just folding laundry, but cooking meals, planning schedules, even tutoring kids or caring for elders. But the ultimate question remains, when those machines get good enough, what becomes human work? If chores are gone, what do we dedicate our time to? And will humans remain the masters of robots or become their managers? So as you watch that robot fold your shirt awkwardly or load your dishwasher, remember, you're not just watching a gadget in action. You're witnessing early whispers of a future where homes are alive with machines that learn, adapt, and assist. And when that day comes, Figure 03 might be remembered not as a futuristic oddity, but as one of the first practical steps toward a new household companion.